Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, my name is Micah and today it's a new month so I have another Shop My Stash, stash for you. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure out a good format for doing these videos. This month I didn't use a lot of different lipsticks so that's why I decided to sort of do everything in one go. Um, rather than first going over all of the products I used last month and then showing you separately, separately towards the end what I'm pulling in for this month. There are a couple of products that I want to keep in there, for instance, more so than other times. Um, and I'm also testing out quite a new, uh, quite a few new products. Um, so that's something that I think is good to know about how I'm shopping my stash right now. It, it's a little bit differently than what I've done before. But other than that, I'm just uh, showing you again the makeup that I would like to focus on in the month of April. So let's just get to that part of the video. Here we are again in the drawer and as per usual we will be focusing on this side of the drawer to make most of the major changes. There are some changes that I've already made but there are also a couple of changes that I'm about to make. Let's start there uh, because a product that I know I will be changing soon is my primer. This is the NYX Hydro Touch Primer and this may have one or two uses left. This is almost empty. And what I will be replacing it with is going to be this one by Catrice. This is the Light Correcting Serum Primer in the Morning Glow version. So I'm going to be pulling this in to replace my primer. For base, I was actually using this for most of the month. Uh, I didn't take it with me on vacation. I took the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless with me because it had handier packaging. Since this doesn't have a lid, it just makes a mess in a makeup bag. And I was using it for quite a few weeks after my trip. Loved it. It's a very nice foundation. I already reviewed it, so we'll link that down below. Um, but then in London, I actually bought this brand new Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation, which a lot of people are saying is similar to the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, and apparently this was first released in the UK. So I decided to try it for a week to see if I could already review it. And I have to say, I'm pretty amazed with this. It is very nice and hydrating. And if you're interested in knowing my full thoughts on this, then uh, make sure you check the link down below because I will have already reviewed this. What I will be pulling in for foundation in April is the MAC Studio Water Weight Foundation. I think I've, I've had this for quite some time, but I just never got around to doing a review on this yet. And it's a bit of a shame because I quite like it and I think I've, I've already used up like this entire top bit. So it's seen some use. So uh, I just want to go back to this to help me remember what I think uh, so I can review it sometime in April. The setting spray is a staying. It is about this far gone. So you know me and my setting spray. I just like to use it up before I move on to another one. This is about halfway gone now. So I think another two or three months left of product. We'll see. And then for concealer, I had these two in my drawer and I sort of pulled this one in to, because I thought, well, if I get tired of this one, I have a backup. Um, I ended up only using this while I was on vacation. It's just a really nice peachy tone concealer um, and it's just a really, really good one. But I didn't reach for it because this concealer has become one of my new favorites. This is the One Drop Coverage Concealer by Catrice. It's new for spring, summer to 2019. I already reviewed it and I'm absolutely loving it. So this is going to stay in for another round, but I do want to try something new. So I am going to be using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer to see if I like it. It is a little bit dark. Ooh, but then again, this one by Catrice is a little bit light. So maybe I can end up mixing them or use this one on the under eye and then the wet and wild on my face. We'll see. Let's start with highlighter first. Uh, Dandelion Twinkle by Benefit is a great everyday sort of subtle highlight. This is what it looks like. It's really, really nice. And I've been wearing this a lot this month. Uh, however, it wasn't my favorite. Because I pulled in another highlighter to try. This is Becca's Vanilla Quartz. And... Dare I say it, maybe I have a new favorite highlighter and it might be this one. I definitely reached for this the most this past month. So these are the two that I'm going to be pulling in. And this is the Anastasia Emrazy highlighter that everybody raved about at the end of 2018. 
I managed to find this on the official Anastasia website uh, back when they still did it. It was still in stock, so I was like, Ooh, give it, let's give it a try. I've tried it a few times, and I'm not sure whether it's me, but I cannot get this to transfer to my face with a brush. I can swatch it with a finger and it's fine. It's almost as if the brush won't pick it up, so I'm not really getting much of a highlight out of this, I find. So I definitely need to play around with this more and try different techniques to see how I can make it work. Maybe it's a bit like the ColourPop ones where you sort of need to use your sponge. We'll see, but it is a pretty color and it looks nice on me once I get it on. It just takes a long time for it to go on. And then a drugstore option that I would like to try is the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. This is in the shade, does it say Pearl? I have this in Pearl. And this looks like that. I haven't tried this a lot, but I thought it would be a nice one. It seems to have a bit of a duochrome, so interesting shade. And then last month I had a couple of blushes in here. My favorite blush of all time. Nah, that's a bold statement, but it, this is coming close. This is Kiko's uh, Shade Fusion Blush in 05 Marsala. Really liked it, but I didn't use it as much as I thought I would. I used my other favorite mauve tone blush by Hourglass a lot more. This is Mood Exposure. I completely fell head over heels in love with this again. So uh, that because we were in the drawer together, I ended up using the Kiko less. And then to try something new, I pulled in my Butter Bronzer in Vintage Rouge. This is really nice for like a peachy neutral uh, blush. So that's why for next month, I am pulling in my other butter blush. This is in the shade Plum Rose. So this is a bit more cool tone, but very pale, which I think might look nice on me. And then for something a bit more colorful, since it is spring, um, I want to pull in this H&M blush in Canta Loop, which is like a really nice sort of like soft peach shade as well. And then I thought, it's spring, let's go for something a bit more shimmery. This is Benefits Coralista, and I'm not sure if you can see this, but in terms of blush, I've never used up one, but this has a big dent in it, and I just want to go back to this. So Benefits Coralista is one that I always like in the spring-summertime. It's just been a very long time since I wore it. For bronzer, I've decided I don't want to make a change because I'm absolutely loving my current bl uh, bronzer that I've been using. This is the Solar Powder Bronzer by Soap & Glory. This is wearing down. This used to have two S's embossed on the top and um, yeah, I'm sort of making my way through this and I'm really enjoying the shade of this, so I want to use it another month. And also, my powder isn't going to be changed up. This is Diffused Light by Hourglass. Again, I'm making good progress on this. I have a tendency to use up a powder before uh, moving on to the next one. So that's what I'm doing with this one. So um, I'm just going to keep on using this. Those are, the some, uh, those are the products that are in here right now that I will be using. I need to change out my mascara because these two <laughs> are getting a little bit old. Uh, the waterproof one by Gla uh, the Glamandol Waterproof by Catrice, I will still use because I'm just using it as a top coat. Uh, but the Lash Princess by Essence, I need to stop using. And this, just to change it up, I'm going to be using this NARS Mini Climax Mascara. I got this free as a gift with purchase, so I thought I could give it a whirl. And I'm just keeping the waterproof in here just in case I need a top coat with that to prevent any smudging. Brow product is still going strong in terms of the actual brow pencil. I still have quite a bit left. The only thing I'm getting worried about in this is the actual gel that's on the other end. Not because it's running out, but because it's starting to smell really, really badly. And I've, I've had that issue with brow gels in the past that they just end up smelling funky so quickly before you can ever use them up. So I think what I'll do is I'll keep the brow pencil, but I'll pull in my favorite Essence Make Me Brow eyebrow gel for the time being, just to make sure I have something that doesn't smell and doesn't make my brow hairs go um, like... This gives me like little bubbles of product in my brow and it just looks a bit weird. 
So that's why I think this will work better. I just want to go back to something that I know I love. This section won't be changing. The eye primer I'm still liking. My MAC Painterly Paint Pot won't go anywhere. My lip balms and also my eye pencils will stay where they, where they are. Um, this past month, in terms of lipstick, has not been interesting because apart from a red that I showed you last month that I wore while I was in London, I've been only pretty much wearing this lipstick by Catrice. This is their new Power Plumping Gel Lipstick. And this is the nude. In my last video, it was the red. And this is called Speak Up. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is already being so worn down that the writing that's on the bullet is disappearing. I've been wearing this tons. It's my perfect, my lips but better kind of shade. And I think I will be wearing it loads in April as well, because this is my current favorite lipstick. For eyeshadow, I was not that creative while I was on my trip to London. I just wore two ColourPop shadows while I was there. The one I wear the most when I travel is this one. This is a really stunning shade. This is called So Quiche. And uh, it's my most used ColourPop shadow. But I also really like Ritz. And I was wearing this also a little bit. In the days after my trip, um, I had a dance weekend in March and I wore this quite a bit because it makes for a nice shimmer all over the lid. This is in the shade Ritz. In terms of eyeshadow, all the palettes I used this past month were palettes to try. Because it's been March, we're, we're in spring, which means we have much more daylight, which actually means that I can now use some of the palettes that I bought over the winter before I head out to work. So I've been using the Sultry, which I bought in the Black Friday sales, but I hadn't tried yet. And what I like to do with, if I'm trying a new palette, is that I like to use it all week, pretty much, just so I can see how many looks I can get out of it. And I always make sure I take pictures of like two or three looks, depending on the palette and how much it has in it. Um, with this one, I already created like three or four different looks. And I'm really liking it. I finally got around to using the Misha Lou Cosmetics Witchcraft Palette. This is a stunning one. It actually is a lot more wearable than you might think with these greens and purples that it has. But it has very earthy tones on this side of the palette. And that's why I feel it works very well for every day. It does become quite dark and sultry. And the reason why I'm showing you these palettes right now, why I was trying these, is because... Later on in April, in a few weeks' time, I hope to be doing like 10 uh, eyeshadow palettes that I bought and tried, like show you some looks, maybe some swatches, and sort of do a video on 10 palettes that I've tried recently. So I'm pretty sure that all four of these will be coming up in that video. The Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place is one I also bought towards the end of 2018, and, I, and now I finally used it. And this is a stunning one. These pops of like blue and mint are a little bit unexpected, but they work so nicely for like a nice pop of color on the lower lash line. And this red, I heard people raving about that, but wow, they are absolutely right. This is one of the best like cranberry burgundy shades that you might find. And I love how this shade, while it may look like a, like a boring champagne, I'm not sure if you can see that if I move the palette around, but it actually has a duochrome, so this is one I also very much enjoyed. And then we have a Nabla palette. This is the Soul Blooming. I was umming and ahhing between the Dreamy and the Soul Blooming palette, but I just thought that this would be perfect for spring. And the colors just appeal to me a little bit more than the Dreamy. This is a little bit more cool toned, and look at these shades. They are perfect for spring. I do have to say that some of these shimmers are a bit thin and don't really translate to the eye quite well straight away. You do need to build them up, foil them, the whole nine yards. But this pastel shade was very nice and also this corally one too. So the mattes in here are stunning and also this uh, shimmery purple. But these lighter shimmers, those were a bit problematic. But it's still a very pretty palette. I was able to make some really stunning looks with this. But again, I will show you those and update you on my final thoughts in, a, in an upcoming video. That is the Shop My Stash for the month of April in 2019. Let me know in a comment down below what products you have been using, what you have been loving. 
this past month and what you are hoping to get more use out of in the month of April. I would love to know. And if you would like to uh, share your thoughts on this video in a comment, that would be lovely too. You don't have to, of course, like just like you don't have to thumbs up a video to show that you like it or subscribe to my channel. But if you would like to support me on here, that would be absolutely fantastic. And if you could take a moment out of your day to do those kind of things, that would certainly help me out. Um, with that being said, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.